When I think of Roger, of all the things that have been said and all the things that I could say about him, um, the word enthusiast just rages to the top of my head. And I and we're everybody here is you know cut from the same cloth, and uh, and so he's with us as usual. So aren't we lucky? But what he he writes about all the time in his in his. Um, on his website and in his reviews, I feel like it's a very, um, it's a very compassionate voice, which I think is kind of lacking, uh, not entirely, but mostly out there right now. And um, I think it's very important. I cannot tell you how important he was to filmmakers, especially like a Latino filmmaker like me. I mean, he was understood and he was into diversity African-American filmmakers, Latino filmmakers, women filmmakers, he knew these voices needed to be in, in film. And he made sure that he did everything he could to find them, those voices, and to make sure that they were, they were put on the screen. I want to thank Roger. I know Roger's looking down on us. Thank you, Roger, thank you. Ebert Fest feels like a family reunion. You know, the one you have at a nice hotel, and there's uh, macaroni and cheese and people you really like and nice conversation and people who are super supportive of film and filmmakers and filmmaking. The best asset that festival has is its audience. Because you are going to land in a place that loves film, that knows films, and that can read films with the same care that you write them. This is the place to do that. This is a place that shows you a movie and then there's coffee shop talks, long dinners about it. So thank you for existing and thank you guys for being there.